lot of people have been bullied. I mean, probably all of us have had some bullying, but the, the point that, you know, the point where you don't even want to go to school, that's, I don't, my problem is I don't see that the, the school is doing what they should be doing to help you make it through the year. And the school don't care. Well, they, they act like they care. They're, they're willing to take you on a truancy thing, you know. Yeah, they care that he's not showing up to be harassed. Right. So if he will go show up and be harassed, then it's okay. that'll make them happy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'll be perfectly honest with you. That's what I want. I want the pressure put on that school system to do the right thing by you. That's what I'd like, like to see happen. When we went to court, we had a lawyer step in just automatically. I'm taking your case. Because he... It only talked to us for two minutes before the, they hollered our name to go in there. And he walked right in with us. No money, no nothing, no anything. Or he'd been in a lot more trouble that day. Now we just got to go back at the end of March to see where we're going to go from there. The end of March? Yep. Uh, who was that lawyer? White is his last White, name. White, okay. Do I, uh, White? Yeah. Okay, well, see, you should have a lawyer. Anytime you go to court, you have a right. They call them a guardian ad litem. That's a person that's supposed to look out for your interest. And uh, there was a time they didn't do that, but we griped in that about it enough that they started providing lawyers, which they should do. Only thing about it is, that lawyer was going to do that, he ought to give you some advance notice so you could tell him your story. Yeah. And we didn't know. We were, thought we were going over the bullying situation. So you really haven't had a chance to articulate with that lawyer? No. I meet with him Monday. Not this Monday. Right. No. The next Monday. Yeah. And is he showing any substantial interest in helping? Oh, yeah. He has. I had to go to Seneca and sign medical releases for him to get paperwork shown where Dr. Joel signed the paper and everything. <laughs> well, that's appropriate. Yeah. The first thing you should have, Justin, as a lawyer be by your side and to help you and to show it from your perspective. The second thing is, it seemed to me like the school ought to be doing something to solve the problem. But they won't. They just don't want to hear my nonsense, you know. Well, yeah, they, I think uh, Tom Sanders had a, another word for that, right? <laughs> well, that was Mr. Nicely. I didn't talk Oh, Nicely. Him. Yes. Now, wait a minute. Who he's is the, Nicely? He's the assistant principal now. Yeah, he's the new dean of students. Dean of students. You know, that's not really an assistant principal. They haven't had any training in what they do. They call him a dean so they can... They don't want to replay... They don't want to have a number two at the high school. Kathy, when they, probably when you went to school, there was a number two there. Yeah. And uh, they're trying to avoid that, that, the cost of that. So what they do is they let the coach be the... Uh, be the, the vice principal. And, you know, from what I'm hearing, the coach has got about as many problems as the kids. Oh, yeah, he does. Giving the students the keys and then they go... Yeah. The yeah. yeah, now there's a, there's a teacher that they fired at the high school has actually put that in her court record where nicely let the kid take the key to the field house yep. and have sex with someone. Yep. Now this is the same person, Justin, that's being used to protect you. Yep. You know, he's the vice principal. Yeah, that bothers me when I think of that. Yeah. Now, this judge that you're before, this is a sort of a secretive hearing they have, isn't it? Yeah, because it's a They kick everybody out. out. Yep. I want you to watch for me. I want this on the record so people can hear this. Dream is Sharp should not be in there. Okay. She is not legally a bailiff. She don't know what she's doing. But I saw her stay in there the other day when they was having a private hearing. And uh, Dream is just kind of sucking up to them, you know? Yeah. And uh, I don't care. I've been, people pretty much know where I stand. I don't care much for Dream, Dream is Sharp. She's the one that uh, tried to put the handcuffs on me, and I said, I don't want that woman touching me. Yeah, I didn't pay no attention the other day. I, just, yeah. I did. I, once I walked out the door, I said, everybody out of here doesn't have anything to do with this case. And I watched. The sheriff was on the right hand side, and right beside him was Dreamer. She wears this little purple yeah. shirt, makes her look official. She's not official. 
In fact, one day I encountered her up there and the judge threatened to put me in jail because I was complaining about her not having any authority to be in on these secret hearings. And goes out and I personally believe they just blab it all over the community. So I'm saying to you guys, don't. If she's in there, tell Donna or someone that they ain't, or that was your lawyer, tell them that ain't supposed to be. She needs to get out of there. Hey, leave. <laughs> well, I have this theory, Justin, that, and I think it's pretty effective. The only thing that's going to stop these cover-ups and these hidden backdoor shenanigans is to get it out in the public. That's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. They're throwing me in jail. But I'm not ashamed to say I do what I believe is right. Mm -hmm. And I believe you're doing what is right. And Kathy, I believe you're doing what is right. Well, it's like I told Delina AJ, I said, if they want to put me in jail for protecting my child, then so be it. I'll go to jail. And I know you would, Kathy. I know you would. And I would, too. But you're not going to send your, your child right back into that situation where they can sexually harass them. Nope. But Davina, you know, I haven't had CPS on me, but Davina, you know, she told me on the phone that day, she said, well, you know, my job's to protect kids, and the way I look at it, that's what you're doing, you're protecting the child, she said, you know, I have not had CPS on me, but this has been all the board education, because, I mean. So it's the school system that's doing the yes. problem, and they're the ones that should have protected Justin and that's, you know, that's what I told him Mr. nicely on the phone. I told him, I said, my job is to protect my child at home. Your job is to protect my child at, at school. school. You know, there's an old, there's an old, uh, there's an old Latin word called "in loca parentis," and that phrase means literally "in place of the parent." When you put your child on the school bus, or they walk to school, or whatever, the moment they're in that door or on that bus, they're the school is in charge. They are as you are, and I can't blame you for that. Well, I thank you very much for talking to me. Um, my uh, 